I'd like to refer to what Ben Hogan wrote in his book. I feel like an infielder throwing a ball over to first base. Ben also wrote he did not want to get into the finesse role that the right index finger played. Kind of like writing a suspense thriller and leaving everyone hanging. Well, not anymore. Pitch Grip will quickly show you what Ben was talking about and open your eyes to how you can be a much better ball striker once you learn to control the club head via the right index finger. Hi, my name is John Lavelle and I'm the inventor of the Pitch Grip, lag pressure training. I'm also an authorized golfing machine instructor. Have you ever thought, you know, I'm a pretty good athlete and I just can't fit, understand why I can't consistently strike the golf ball? Well, get ready. Pitch Grip is about to shatter everything that you think you know about the golf swing and I hope it'll become a trusted tool that you keep in your golf bag at all times. Pitch Grip is a right hand only practice club that shows a golfer how to monitor the throwing motion that exists in the golf swing. The grip simulates the left hand as being on the club. You have the full left thumb on top and on bottom you have the full left index finger and ring finger. In addition, we have increased the circumference where the index finger resides in our trigger finger channel. A golfer experiences all the same leverage and pressure points normally felt when the left hand is on the club, and the addition of the trigger finger channel produces amazing right hand only club head control. What is it you're trying to feel when you do that drill? So when I take the club back, what I want to try to feel is when I set up to it, when I take it up to the top of my swing, I am loading on my number three pressure point on the trigger finger. So now when I want to bring it down, I want to store that and then release that into impact, okay? Maintaining the bend in the right arm and the bend in the right wrist, which trying to feel like I keep that pressure on the back side of that forefinger. So as I get up, load it, bring it in. Load it, store it, bring it in. I can go out, load it, store it, bring it in into impact. I can take it back, load it, and I'm trying to store it and then release it with my pivot into the into the bag. Feeling this, the right arm bent. Take it up, load it, store it, feel this, and then if I wanted to I could feel my impact Go ahead and take it through. There's a lot of variations you can do with this drill. So basically when you understand how the right forefinger works in the right hand, you get that. Basically when the right hand is controlled, you know, the elbow stays bent even when I hit the impact bag. And if you notice, guys, when I hit the impact bag, when I loaded it and I stored it and I delivered it, notice. I still had pressure on the back of my right hand, my right elbow bent was bent and my left knee was bent and that controls the low point and the quality of the strike. So when I hit these balls, I'm going to try to hit them trying to feel that I'm going to put my mind on this forefinger because most of the time when I feel this on the forefinger and I load it and store it and deliver it, I keep that right elbow bent and that left knee bent. Okay, that was a bad one. Okay, so. So I take it up, I feel this, there, notice my right elbow is staying bent. I'm loading it, storing it, and feeling that, okay? I've maintained my right arm bend. I've tried to maintain the pressure throughout the swing that when I took it back, I loaded it, stored it, delivered it, and went through and beyond. Almost just like if you had a tennis racket, taking it out, loading it, or just throwing a sidearm pitch, feeling this, here, basically the same motion. I feel my pressure on the back of that forefinger. I'd like to dial in for just a moment about what it means to have club head throw away or casting the club. Most amateur golfers get to the top and they yank too hard with their left side and throw the club away. They cast the club. Once you yank hard with your left side, and the club is thrown off your right hand or off your right index finger, you have club head throw away. So I'm going to ask you, have you ever seen a ball player take his arm back, release, and then throw? Well, of course not. It just doesn't happen that way. Give pitch grip a try. You're going to love it. 
for all you athletes out there looking for that big golfing breakthrough. The code has finally been cracked. A coordinated right hand is the secret to great golf, yet it has been the missing fundamental because nobody knew how to explain the elusive right hand. Well, not anymore. With pitch grip, there's no explanation necessary. Buy it today and see the immediate breakthrough you've been looking for.